Hey guys. How's it going? I've got another hundred pounds and five in ten pence pieces. Went to the bank. You might have seen in an earlier video and got myself a hundred and five pounds in ten peas, hundred and five hundred and five peas, hundred and twenties, and then twenty in twos and ones each. So that's gonna be fun. Gonna get my hands nice and dirty for them. But I thought we'll start off and see what we can find here. This is a completely size so this one. This one's completely sealed. Um, not sure when it was sealed as it doesn't have sealing date but we are about to unseal it you ready three two one yes. For some reason my knife doesn't want to cut there we go so we're gonna just move that over there and we're gonna see if there's any treasures we're gonna start off with this one which is an unsealed bag from the teal so we're just gonna have a look see and see what we can find so basically we're looking for anything that shouldn't be there and our A to Z's so you never know they might be in the banks blue bag ready to fill with 10 pences and it's going to be pretty slim to get any of the alphabets to be honest still but they do take their time some of them, some of them you know it's like with that Jeremy Fisher with the 50p's still haven't got it as of recording this and it would be nice if we at least got one but like I said we don't know when the date was stamped well there's no date stamp when the 10 pences were actually bagged up so I don't know if it's recent it could have been a year ago but in our last batch when we got 300 we did get quite a few foreign and I think a few territories so even if we got like one of them I wouldn't be too fussed so I just dumped out a couple of bags there Ooh. there we go a couple of bags there and we're just gonna flick through them quick and we will try and find something cool so yeah Hope everyone is doing well. If you have been finding the alphabets in your change, put a comment down below. Let us know what you found, what letters, and where in the UK you are. Um, let's see where they're spreading out to. If they're in the larger towns or like some people who are in smaller towns or more rural areas if you found any yet but we're just gonna go through them and you never know but from the looks of this batch just by scanning over there's like one bit dirty there that there isn't anything just from scanning but you never can tell so I think in the last batch we got a load of US quarters a load of Canadian um, if I remember right we got the Cayman, was it Cayman Islands now, I was actually looking at that yesterday So we're going to do 10 minute videos, try and keep them short and I think it's going to be about 3 or 4 videos from this batch 
for us. So this is the last of the first 10 pounds. So this is our first, we'll say 100. 10 pences and we have not found anything of interest. And we're halfway through so we're going to put another two bags down. Just a couple of bags in, we're getting dirty hands. So as they're all in a line, let's see what there is. Maybe it's an omen that there's something in here that wants to be found. Oops, got that lion. Do you think in the future, when we're searching, it'll be like the 50 pences? So I'll have a line of them, and I'll be lion, lion. Shield, 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 shield. <laughs> nah, I'm just gonna fly through them. So, so far we've not found anything of interest. Be nice to find at least one thing in here. Can you hear that? There's a bag of tens migrating in the back. <laughs> right. I thought that was a 13. I thought it said 18 then. It's be like, yay. But then, hmm. Are they all going to say 18? Or did they start producing them last year as well? Because that'd be kind of cool could do alphabet year sets then. So far we have found skiddle. So didn't flick that one just in case. I have noticed when it comes to ten pences, oh we have found something I think we found one of we found one of these in the last one, didn't we? Did we? I can't remember. Is it a front? Front? So that's kind of cool. It's a 2017 one. So we did get a find. That's the only one. I don't mind. But yeah, they're done by size. So if you hold that to there, you can see it completely disappears behind that 10 pence and yeah they're not I spoke to someone in the bank about it and they said basically when they bag up let's do one more when they bag up they um just basically like them old school coin chain I don't know if anyone had them where you put your change in and it will just automatically sort itself where it's basically like that so if you get um, some coins from different countries that are exactly the same size and weight so like with the US quarters Canadian quarters they are pretty much same as our 10 pences and that's how they get in there so we will finish off this little batch I don't know how many bags we went through in this video but yeah it's going to be about two to three videos of these and then I might do the fiddly ones as well so there's nothing there so we're coming up to 10 minutes guys so we did get a find which is a nice little find there you can see my forehead in the reflection in the camera and my camera battery is about to die guys 
so I'm gonna call it quits here so thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video so take care guys and happy coin hunting goodbye